My name is Zach Kaplan. I'm the uh, CEO of Inventables, the online hardware store for designers. For me, it started when I was a little kid. I built everything from Legos to constructs to you name it. If there was like a construction toy out there, I had it. At my high school, they had a team taught class called SciTech. And so this is like high school engineering. It was Jim Howie, who was the shop teacher, and Jeff Jordan, who was the physics teacher. Those guys had vision. They were way ahead of the maker revolution, so to speak. They saw that abstract or the analytical things like physics needed to be combined with the practical, let's make it. That's where I got really excited because uh, when they were separated, and I, I didn't see the, the point as much just learning physics or just learning how to use a lathe. But when you combined them and there was a goal of let's build a roller coaster, that's when I lit up and I was like really excited. I would dig into, well, what are the physics of a roller coaster or how do you learn how to weld? So those two guys totally inspired me and got me going on this track. It was towards the end of high school, and I just wanted to get going and figure out, can you sell anything? The first time I dabbled in this was with eBay. So the Matrix came out. It was huge. Everybody wanted that phone. And the only place that we could find it was in London. They were selling them. It was a Nokia phone. So we imported them from London for about 50 bucks a phone. And mind you, at that time, we had different systems between the United States and Europe. Those phones didn't work in America. We put them up on eBay. People were in an auction buying them for about 350 bucks a phone. And this was a huge lesson because why were people paying $350 for a phone that didn't work? So if you talk to these people, they were paying because they wanted the phone from the movie, and it was worth that to them. And that was like a big eye-opening educational experience that really like just started to shape my ideas of like, what, so what is a business really doing? How do you price these things? And how would you even learn about that? But it, the whole experience blew me away. When I was in college, I actually started my first company during school. And I remember towards graduation, there was this decision point, do I continue with the company or do I get a job? My parents encouraged me to do whatever I wanted to do, but they really, they said, just go start the company because they knew that's what I really wanted to do. They believed in me and they were just supportive in, in the best ways possible. My goal at the time was when I graduated, I wanted to be making just as much money as the job offers I got to go be an engineer. One of my friends talks about how uh, some entrepreneurs are living in the future. They're seeing it a little bit differently or a little bit before the rest of the world and coalescing the ideas so people can realize, like, wow, that's really interesting. I would love to buy that product or share that experience. When you learn about something unexpected, it expands your understanding of what's possible, and now you can come up with all these new ideas. Entrepreneurship is, to some extent, the same kind of process where you're starting a new business and you're starting it with just a subtly different take on th the way that maybe people have done it before. So you, you think about the difference between Southwest Airlines and United or American, right? They're all three airlines, but Southwest approaches the problem from a different point of view. And so entrepreneurship in many ways is having that point of view and then delivering a new experience from that point of view or assembling the pieces together in a, in a different way that yields a different result. It really comes down to your motivation to just go do it and go try. So I hope that they get inspired to, to realize like they can do it too. It's not that hard.